Guaranteed to bring tears to your eyes and his as BBC One prepares to party with PK. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the tree tops glisten And children listen To hear sleigh bells in the snow I'm Dreaming of a white Christmas With every Christmas card I write Please be merry and bright We all know this that we want Happy Christmas! show and we're all here in this group and it's the Christmas special yeah. it's brilliant because of the Christmas special what we decided to do we decided to make the audience all at home so everybody everybody's got their antlers on give me give me a give me a I don't know why I did that that's the sign of cow mix <laughs> anyway madam um, and, 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 and because it's Christmas have we all got our drinks yeah. that's brilliant I'm very glad we all have our drinks because Christmas Christmas is a time for coming together. It's a, it's a time for giving. Give me a new. It's a time for receiving. Give me an ah. It's a time for friends. So it's the BBC, none of that Channel 4 monkey. Excuse me. So we're all here, and Christmas is a very, very holy time of year. Give me a ah, amen. It is a very, very holy time, Christmas, because you find that all the Catholics, all the Catholics go out to midnight mass on Christmas Eve. Whee. And all the Protestants, they go to church on Christmas morning. Woo. Woo. And if you're an orange man in Balamini, you can do both. <laughs> Business up at Harrysville, it's like Bally Kiss Angel with sashes. <laughs> <laughs> it's different, isn't it? And all the wee youngsters up in Ballymena, they don't know what to do, and they're running in, and their dads are coming in and saying, Get your coat on, get your sash on, get your coat on, get your sash on, we're going out. Daddy, 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 where are we going? Where are we going? You know where we're going, we know where we're going, we're going to Mass! <laughs> And you find that they're trying to get through Dunloy. Now, am I missing something? Right, has anybody been to Dunloy? We want into the centre of Dunloy. <laughs> I, that's a tip, isn't it? I, and apparently what they're doing, they're, they're waiting to organise. They're waiting to organise and they're going to organise a parade to head into Dunloy. And I reckon they shouldn't do that. Shouldn't bother with organising anything. They should just do what the apprentice boys of Derry did. Have anybody in from Derry? Anybody in from London, Derry? <laughs> well, hey, oh, you better believe it. Because the apprentice boys up there, they had the right idea because they, they didn't tell the Catholics anything. They said, we will walk the walls at a time of our choosing. <laughs> right? And all the wee fiends didn't know what to do. They were like, are they on the walls? They're on the walls? I don't know. They're on the walls. They, they didn't know how to walk the walls or climb them. <laughs> it was ridiculous. And I reckon if the orange men, if the orange men actually want to get through Dunloy, they should wait until it's really, really cold. Right? And they should take off all the black suits and the, and the red sashes and they should put on white suits and white sashes and white gloves, right? And all they need to do is just keep on the wee bowler hat. And instead of flutes, they could play carrots, right? <laughs> That's how they get into Dunlop. And they could wait till some morning the gritter hasn't been out and they could walk up the road with the frost on, right? <laughs> and all the wee Catholics in Dunloy wouldn't know what to do. And they'd be coming to the window going, John James, you're never going to believe that. <laughs> Well, 
well, don't look now, but there's 200 snowmen coming down the street. And, and then you could have frosty the orange man. <laughs> right, what we do, what we do, fro we do we try this, frosty the orange man. Here we go, here we go. Frosty the orange man, he marched throughout the land. Down through Dunloy on Christmas Day, with a big white orange man. Yes, frosty the orange man, marched back on Boxing Day. Then the Armo rode on New Year's Eve, with a big white orange man. That's what we have, and, and, and I tell you, it's coming up to Christmas, and, and it's a time for giving, so if anybody in Dunloy, just let, let them march, and then they'll give you wee presents. And I reckon the present that you give them, just give them a big dope, give, give them a big joint, <laughs> right? Seriously, and, and the or everybody would be stoned, and all the Calics in Dunloy would be stoned, woo! <laughs> and all the orange men in, in Dunloy would be stoned, woo! <laughs> and the RUC would be stoned, and... <laughs> no, no change there. <laughs> It'd be ridiculous, wouldn't it? And the wee orange men wouldn't know what to do. They'd be riding around with their battens, right? And they'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> it's up awful high, Mervyn. <laughs> Not the only ones, am I? <laughs> It'd be great, wouldn't it? And that's what we should do, because Christmas is a time for giving. And if we've any RUC traffic branch out there, it's a time for giving. <laughs> or forgiving, right? Because it's silly, isn't it? As I tell you, at Christmas time, V Day also soon wouldn't have a look in for the hair dryers, right? They're all out the traffic branch trying to catch us speeding and all, and, and they all talk with. Have we any traffic branch in? <laughs> <laughs> right? And they all talk the same, don't they? They arrive at the car and they go, Hi then, there, Mr. Keatley, is this your own aircraft? <laughs> Abort the launch wing, Commander. <laughs> That's true. And I reckon, I reckon they should take a page out of the, out of the traffic branch down south because they couldn't care less. Right, seriously, we, we, have, we have roads and we have junctions with traffic lights and all that sort of stuff up here. Down south, they don't have any of that. None, none of that at all, right? Because anybody travel the road to Dublin? Yeah? yeah. A lot of Catholics in. And, <laughs> And it's deadly because cause you've got one big lane going to Dublin, and you've another big lane coming from Dublin, and then you've got the big imaginary lane in the middle for anybody to drive! <laughs> right? Ah, sure, it doesn't matter, we're all going to Dublin. <laughs> And then they have accident black spots down south. What the hell is an accident black spot? You might as well put up a wee sign going, loads of people have died here. <laughs> Mind yourself. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? And that's why when John Major came here for Christmas, he didn't go down south. Didn't go down south. He came to the blue skies of Ulster. Because <laughs> the shopping's cheaper up here. <laughs> and, and it's true, and I've actually got all the wee presents here. Look, these are the wee presents. That, these are the videos that John Major took home. There's the first one. Right. And this is the one, actually, great new video out. It's the one where uh, Ian Paisley and Jerry Adams kiss each other outside the Europa Hotel. It's called Miracle on Great Victoria Street. <laughs> And then we've got the next one here. This, this is a brilliant one. Have we any DUP people in? <laughs> this is a wee cartoon to commemorate 25 years of the DUP based on Little Red Riding Hood. It's called Little Red, White and Blue. No riding, we're Presbyterian. And the only hood right here is Jerry Adams. <laughs> and finally, finally, this is my, this is my favourite. I love this one. This is a brilliant one, right? We see this, right? This one here is, is the exclusive video of Sammy Wilson's romp during the summer. <laughs> and we in the Christmas special, we've obtained a copy of it, and, and it's brilliant. And, and there's one for everybody in the audience. Look at that there. Free Willy. <laughs> the show and because it's Christmas and it's the Christmas special let's see those hands going it's the Christmas special ladies and gentlemen and because it's the Christmas special it's time for a very very special guest yes is your friend and mine give it up and give it loud for Tommy the Talking Turkey one day Hi, 
you, Tommy. How you doing, boy? <laughs> I tell you, you've got some place here. It's a good spot, isn't it? Here, Paddy, you yes. must be loaded now. Every time I open a newspaper, there's Paddy Kilty here, Paddy Kilty there, Paddy Kilty going to England. <laughs> uh, what's all that about? Well, I'm just, you know, at the end of the day, like, you know, have, have, you have to do it. You have to go and try to make, try to make the corn. What are you worth a bob? <laughs> I mean, you know, could you give a turkey a few pounds? <laughs> a wee touch for your old friends? I'll give you a stuffing if you're not... Uh... <laughs> Well, tell me this, Paddy, I've yes. something... I'm just looking over in the front row. There's some crowd in there here. They're a big crowd in. Big I, crowd. I, 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 I hate to break it to you, but I think they're all there to see me. <laughs> If you saw the mailbag that I have, I mean, I have a few of the letters with me, but I, honest to God, I am phenomenally popular. <laughs> You're loved by women and admired by men, Tommy. I am, Paddy, and I tell you what, yes. now, one wee question, will you ask me honestly? Yes. What was you doing on that after the break? <laughs> Paddy, we go back a long way, but you were nothing but an old gulping. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what it is, right? I'll have less of that or there'll be more of this. So you just get the mushrooms all on my... It's beautiful, that, you know, the, the combination of the mushrooms and the onions. In they go. In. Okay, but that's not all we like in our Christmas stuffing. We're going to add some toasted pecan nuts, a little bit of chopped parsley, and stir that up, and it's all just about ready. So then all we need is a turkey. <laughs> See? I know there's no call for that. At this time of the year, I'm what you might call a wee bit sensitive. <laughs> Well, look, I tell you what, if you don't want anything bad to happen, you think it's time you actually grease your tail and slide on. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy the Talking Turkey! <laughs> so, as I said earlier on, folks, it is a, it's, it's a very, very holy time of year. Christmas is a very, very holy time of year because we all head out and we get snattered and we're running around the house the next morning going, Holy Mary, Mother of Sweet. <laughs> That's true, because we do, we all go out and get snattered over Christmas, don't we? And we all run around like Sinn Féin at the office party talking to anybody watching it where you're from. Get, uh, right. <laughs> and then you wake up the next morning and you, you turn into the DUP. <coughs> Never! <laughs> It's not, it's not about making it through the night, it's about making it through the morning after. So tonight we've got a very, very special treat for you folks. Yes, here's a lady who can help you make it through the night and the morning after. Give it up and give it loud for Sex Kitten Come Party Animal, Kathy Lloyd! <laughs> Very well, thank you. I'm very, very well myself. <laughs> I'm absolutely, uh, I'm, I'm o o overwhelmed. Okay. The, <laughs> I can't, I can't concentrate. <laughs> the, the morning after. Yeah. The, the night before. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Is is a very, very crucial time. It certainly is. And you have to try to get your body back together together again. Uh -huh. For for. <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Uh, so you have to try to get yourself back together again. So what we're actually going to do tonight, we're going to do hangover cures. <laughs> uh, and you're kind enough to come in and you're going to talk us through uh, your favourite hangover my cure. Favorite, and yes. then I'm going to talk you through my favourite hangover cure. Well, mine is very, very simple indeed. Yes? You need um, a bottle of champagne. A bottle of champagne. Um, a, a dash of um, cayenne pepper. You're you going to stick it in there, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, right. can, we stick the, can we stick the cayenne in? Yeah, OK. How much do you put in? Just a dash, not too much. No, there you go. Bit more? Bit more. That's it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, champagne. <laughs> is, there, is there an egg in there? Yeah, an egg. Okay, Should I do that? You, you do that, because okay. I'm a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean I can't, I can't break egg. 
<laughs> there you go, right. That, okay. that, you did that really well. Yeah. No, so I, I, I think that's oh, okay. Thank you. Can we keep? Right, and and, and, and the champagne. And and the champagne. Uh -huh. and can can I open the champagne? Ooh. Would the audience like me to open the champagne? Champagne, let's get that in there, and I can Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Half of it's gone missing. Half of it's gone missing. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder okay. why. She's an old game. She's an old game. <laughs> right, right. Okay. okay, put that on. Okay. Right, and then you just. Do you twist it? Um, yeah. You sure? And then just switch it on. Mm -hmm. Right, that's yeah. enough. Lovely. Okay. And, uh, We've got glances for that. Okay. Of course we do. <laughs> So, so then we, we, we pour that out. Yeah. And there you go, that's mm. Kathy's hangover cure. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so now it's time for, for my hangover cure. Okay. Okay. And uh, this is a very, this is a Dundrum hangover cure. Uh, Does do you it know, work? Do you, do you know where Dundrum is? <laughs> no? No. Okay, right. It's, it's, it's just down the south of France. <laughs> and it's lovely. I've got a villa down there, yeah. and 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 a, no, I don't. No, right. No. <laughs> okay, right. So, so this is the Dun this is the Dundrum one, and uh, first of all, some peanuts from the bar the night before. Right, go ahead. There you go, right? PK nuts. Um, uh, <laughs> right, and, and then we get some some Donny mixtures. I like them. Do you? Do you, do you want one? Yeah. Which one? one? I like these ones. Which one? Great. Can I have one? Mm-hmm. Do you want another? <laughs> Sorry. Right. <laughs> Okay, then we get some tomato ketchup, oh my which God. is <laughs> which is great. Uh, then we actually get some of this stuff here, which uh, which I can't pronounce, but apparently is very good. Um, mm -hmm. We stick that in there, and uh, some vinegar, which is always useful. <laughs> there you go. Oh. And uh, and a couple of eggs. <laughs> the uh, the cayenne pepper. <laughs> Uh, some Guinness, and and finally some hair of the dog. <laughs> what? It's great, right? So, I actually just put the lid on, and uh, and we mix it up. Okay. Great. Can I have a glass? Can you go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, and that is the PK hangover cure. To the time of the show where we actually have to uh, to taste these hangover cures. <laughs> and I'm thinking mine. No, <laughs> and in order to taste the hangover cure, you actually have to be hungover. In order to be hungover, you need to be drunk. Yeah. And in order to be drunk, you need to have a night out. And in order to have a night out, Kathy Lloyd, you need to take this envelope because inside this envelope, Kathy Lloyd, is the night of your life. The trip with me, yes, we're going for the night of our life, and the good news is, like all nights of your life, it'll be over in just under three minutes. <laughs> so come with me as we go on the rip. You're here, okay? And so here we are, and we're just starting off in the house, yeah. and that's what we do. And we have some soft light, and then we have some soft music. And then Kathy has a, uh, a, a mulled wine. Thank you. There you go. And while Kathy's having her mulled wine, I start the evening off with a can of Stagger! <laughs> Thank 
Are you tipsy yet? No, no. No, you're not tipsy? No. Right, okay. Here we go. On to the pump. Come into the pub. I'm on the red McCarthy Light as Christmas, and in the pub, Kathy starts off with another mulled wine. Woo. And because it's Christmas, I start off with the Gibby Sham. And because it's Christmas, Kathy, I'm going to have a pair of black. Ah, sure, it's Christmas. Go on, go on up. No, I'm driving up. You will, you will. Kathy, did anybody ever tell you you've got lovely eyes? <laughs> dancing with Kathy, and Kathy's looking into my eyes and something's rubbing against something and I'm not sure what it is <laughs> it feels quite good and I look into Kathy's eyes and Kathy says those words that she's been longing to say to me all evening Patrick, I really, really want to yeah, well what do you really want, Kathy? I really want a kebab yeah! Kathy said it's time to go. Yeah, Patrick, let's go home. No, but Patrick's drunk, and so Patty doesn't want to go home. He wants to go to another pub! Yeah! Oh, no, we got to the other pub. That's brilliant, because Patty's thirsty and his kebab, and the room starts to spin. And so, Kelly. Kelly, I was just wondering, would you like to come home <coughs> for a coffee? <laughs> so here we are. So I was just wondering, do you want to come upstairs for for a coffee? No. <laughs> a, co a coffee with me upstairs. Patrick, no. Good no. And so Patrick went to bed alone. Oh. But as if by magic, it was soon morning. <laughs> and everything sounded like an orange band. <laughs> it's Kelly Lloyd! Wait, was I, I was out with you last night, wasn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. Did, did we? <laughs> we did we end to be? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Well, come, come with me, because my head's hurting. And so it's back now to the place that I didn't want to go. It's time now to taste <laughs> the hangover cures. <laughs> so, um, Kathy, if you'd like to go ahead and, and taste yours. Oh, with pleasure. Sure. <laughs> And now it's time to taste mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>